Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be working more on the car program. Now, I've got a lot lined up for this tutorial, and it will probably end up be, uh, being split into more than one part for this one tutorial. Uh, so, I might switch back and forth between different points that I want to talk about. So, if you remember, um, the only type of car we've been working with is the car. We have not been using sports cars or trucks um, with new car or the name or the color or the doors, uh, etc. So what we want to do is be able to add trucks and sports cars to our um, to our list right here and access the attributes of them. So let's go over here to form one. And now I showed you a way of using selected car uh, to get the selected uh, car that's at the index. Well, now what we can do is instead of having that being limited to only being a car, we can come down here to button set name and we can get the item uh, at the index of the cars array list. So we'll just type cars and then we'll do list cars dot selected index. So what this is going to do is it's going to get the car name of the car at the selected index of where they selected it. So this can be a sports car or a truck or just a normal car. And it will get the car name value of that. So let's just go ahead and change some of these values. So we'll type um, cars and then at index of list cars dot selected index. Now we could go through and um, manually change each one of these but there's an easier way to do this. We can just go ahead and press control F and it will bring up the find and replace menu. So what do we want to find? We want to find selected car. So you can see that it went ahead and found the next one for us. We can go ahead and replace this with cars at index of list cars dot selected length uh, not length <laughs> why did I say that? selected index so let's just go ahead and get this out of here and we'll replace all or we'll just go ahead and replace this one right here ah quit dropping in there so we'll, we'll replace replace and let's make this a little bit smaller We'll just keep replacing until we get back up to the um, first selected car, which is right there. Okay, so now that we've replaced all of these inside of our uh, button event handlers, let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. So we'll minimize these just to organize the code a little better. And we'll run this. So we'll select Mustang GT, we'll set the name of it, and you can see we get old name Mustang GT. We can just name it the On Live Gamer GT. Click OK, and it's going to update it for us. So that way we can use objects of type other than uh, selected cars. So now what we can do is we can allow the user to build a different kind of car in their new car uh, form right here. So we can have them make a truck or a car or a sports car. So to do this, let's go ahead and come over to form1.vb. And we're going to add a combo box right here. Now this isn't the best looking program, but you guys can change it around uh, to whatever you want to make it look a little bit better. So here's our combo box. And we want to go ahead and go to the collections in the property. Or the items. So we'll add car, truck, and sports car. And so now if we click OK, the user has the option to choose either a car, truck, or sports car when they create a new car. So just like that. Now let's go ahead and come over here to our new car.vb and what we're going to do is we are going to create a public variable called 
vehicle type as uh, let's say string so whenever the user selects something from the combo box and clicks new car we're gonna get what they selected and use it in our new car form so instead of saying name of car it'll it might say name of truck or name of sports car so we'll come back over here to form one vb and whenever they click button create car it's gonna call the create car method that we have so what we need to do is we need to come down here we have our add new car form it's a new car form and we show the dialog so now what we need to do is use an if statement so if and we need to come back in here and rename our combo box to something uh, that is easy to remember so we'll do combo car types we'll go back to the code so if combo car types um, dot selected index is equal to let's say zero which is car or at least I think it is yeah we got car truck and then sports car so if the index is zero then what do we want to do we want to run everything that is in here so we'll just come down here and then type end if once again so if the selected index is equal to zero we want to ha uh, have it show the new car uh, form and it's going to create a new car object but we want to go ahead and set the um, the string from new car that is our vehicle type so we want to set uh, add new car we want to set the um, vehicle type to the type that they have selected so we're going to go ahead and copy this so if it's equal to zero then we want to go ahead and set the appropriate values so add new car dot vehicle type equals combo car types dot selected and let's see is it item oh yeah let's do selected item that should give us uh, sorry about that alarm uh, but that should give us the text that is inside of the combo box so whatever the vehicle type is it's going to send that back to our new car object that we've created